the officer said, no, we will get him. Insisted on entering, even though the director said no. Eventually, one of them got through a door and got closer to the do uh, dormitory area. So Sergeant said he held the door to try to keep the others out. Well, basically telling me to step aside. If you don't open this effing door, I'm going to tase you, is what the cop said. Mr. Salters said, and I'm like, whoa, don't tase me. I don't want to be tased for nobody. So he puts his hands up, okay? He puts his hands up. He doesn't want to be harmed by the police. He's, a, he's working for the government. He's, he's a shift supervisor. After stepping aside, what happened? They didn't come in to get anybody but him at that time. They rushed him. They rushed him. And the two of them started to punch him repeatedly over and over and over and over again. Two other officers entered the room when the door was open, and eventually all four of them jumped on him, handcuffed him. The DHS report says the officers ambushed Salters, who says he never threatened them. He never fought back. Salter said he was taken to a hospital, and eventually he himself was taken to Central Booking, NYPD, where police told him he was being charged with obstruction of justice, and he was being charged with resisting arrest, even though those things never happened. However, the day after he was beaten, Salter said he was suddenly released with no charges. He says he went through a great deal of pain, trauma. He says he went through this pain and trauma. Quote, my anxiety level is on a thousand. I also have some injuries to arms and legs and back. But there's my biggest problem is peace of mind. I don't go outside anymore. A uniform itself brings me back, Salter said. Here's the NYPD chief, uh, Jeffrey B. Madre and New York Mayor Eric Adams. The NYPD and the mayor's office would not agree to an interview with CBS News New York. But of course, they wouldn't. Explain why the cops responded in the way they did. Yeah. The DHS report says after the officers handcuffed Salters, they searched the shelter, and guess what? They found nobody. Of course they, they did. They did not find the suspect they claimed was in the facility. Of course not. So the only man they arrested was the one man simply doing his job. Yeah. Protecting and serving. Yeah. Who are they protecting and serving? Certainly not us. This man was literally doing his job. He called his boss, asked his boss what to do, put his boss on speakerphone. The boss said, do not let them in because they do not have a warrant. But... You know, my man got his behind kick. You know, threatened with uh, being tased. The cops do whatever they want. Nobody cares. But one day they're going to start beating white people and everybody else the same way. And then they'll care then. I guarantee it. Old man Joe.